Well, welcome back to my channel, me so frugal, and today we got an exciting episode. We have a communal kitchen, and then within the communal kitchen, we have these two different cabins where people that move out or don't want their stuff anymore can just place it. So it's everything that people don't want and we got the famous chef here oh a famous chef <laughs> I, I like to i like to cook with what i got so let's see this is this is yeah. like a challenge so I'm, gonna, I, I'm just gonna have fun with it oh we're gonna try to do a three course meal with drinks with what we have in the pantry as i said it, it's free for anyone to use and also to claim as well so these were kind of the, some of the stuff that we claim and this is the other pantry that i was telling you guys about so pretty much we have sushi rice and lunch and meat. I'm gonna make something happen with that. All for us to use. So this is the OG. The OG Tang right here. Like this. And you just turn it like a key. So satisfying. I wonder what year this can opening technology would have been started. But it's so efficient, it's so easy. Nope, make sure you go straight. Keep it here. Set. Ooh. Chunk of good old luncheon beef. Beautiful. Now we gotta think about how we want this. Try them as big pieces and then So while that's coloring, we're gonna start seasoning. Garlic powder, cumin, black pepper, a little bit of turmeric. So we'll let it cool before we cut and shape it. I was thinking maybe half and half again, horizontally and vertically. So I guess we can get four pieces. Depending on how much rice comes out, we can make four sushi. <laughs> we use this President Choice uh, sticky rice. It's a, it's a short grain, so it's good for a sushi. See how this turned out. Follow the directions as best we can. Looks, smells good. I'm gonna give it a taste. I think it needs a little bit more water. What I'll do is, I'll season the rice actually. It needs some liquid. A nice amount, mix it around a bit. Gently, back on the pot. Let it do its thing for a little bit. I'm just gonna cut it four ways. So while my rice is resting, I'm gonna get the soya, roasted soya bean powder. I'm gonna grind it up and roll it in there. So for our sauce, we're just gonna stick with the soy sauce. Rice should be good now. Huh? Oh yeah. Nice and seasoned. Rice is still pretty warm, but I think what I need is a bowl of water. It won't stick on your hand to start. So pretty much just trying to form it carefully. Give it a little dunkaroo and set it on my plate. To recap of what we made, it's a, a luncheon sushi rolled in roasted soybeans. Good try. So we got the luncheon meat inside, sushi rice seasoned, and a roasted soya bean, soy nut. Do I put the whole thing in my mouth? The meat a bit smaller. <laughs> So good though. We basically made a free meal. And I feel like it was a bit bland because of the rice. Rice is not seasoned proper? No. 
But I give us like Really? I seasoned it though. I know I saw that, but I feel like it wasn't enough. But it's pretty it's enough to me. Okay. Okay, well I'll take criticism. Mm, no. Seven out no, of no, ten. No, don't talk this. shit. Just so that, six out of ten. Okay, okay. You want more season than that? So what's a real score? Don't don't bash on him because the rice I is seasoned. Seven out of ten. I feel okay. like it's because it, you put weight. I feel like it's too much price compared to the spam that it overtakes and then it's not as much flavor. I taste mostly. So you said I can make them smaller, pretty much. Moving on, if we were to do the three course meal like we said, um, we would have had soup as a starter. I found this in the pan. I think you just have to add hot water, and then we have oats as well if we're making a breakfast special and then behind me is all the drinks that we can have so we have like coke clamato caesar you can make coffee and add some rolly coffee with that would be hot nice. chocolate that'd be a nice you can make an iced coffee we got orange pickle tea a huge bag of english breakfast tea 